Hi everyone! In this video, I'm going to create a simple program that explains how variables work in Java. I've already created the class I'll use to write this example code. If you're not sure how to do that, view the Hello World example video in the playlist linked within the description. Let's start with what a variable is. Variables are used to store data. The data that they hold can change, hence the name variable. Variables have three properties, a type, a name, and a value. The type of a variable tells you what kind of data it can hold. To declare a variable means to state its name and what type of variable it is. To initialize a variable means to provide its initial value, the value it starts out with. Okay, let's declare and initialize a variable real quick. Whenever you start out a line of code with two forward slashes, that is a code comment. Code comments are not compiled. They are just there for you as notes, okay? So what does that line mean? The first word int means the variable is an integer. Integers are numbers that can be written without a decimal. The second word is the name of the variable. I called it the variable. You can name it whatever you want, as long as it makes sense. And the two is the initial value. You might be asking, what's with the way you named that variable? Why is the casing on the letters all weird? This is called camel casing. Camel casing means you start with lowercase letters and then the first letter of each new word is uppercased. We do this because variable names can't have spaces. It allows you to use multiple words in your variable name and makes it easier to read. Now that I've initialized my variable, let's compile and run the code. Oh, tells me to save it. Uh, and nothing happens. Uh, that's not actually true. Something does happen. The variable named the variable is given the value of 2. It just looks like nothing happened because we don't have any outputs being displayed to use. Let's print the value of this variable to the console. We'll do that using the print line method. So, we'll use the system.out.println and then we just put the variable in here. Oops, spell it right. And now we can save, compile and run, and now we see the value of the variable printing in the console. You may notice that the variable had a little orange squiggly line under it and there was like a exclamation point over here. That was telling us that we hadn't used the variable. We had defined it, we had initialized it, but we hadn't done anything with it yet. Now that we're printing it out, we're actually doing something with it. Remember, variables are called variable because the values they hold can change. Let's change the value of the variable to something else. We'll also print out the value of the variable so we can see it. And I can just copy and paste this. So now when I run it, oh, keep forgetting to save. I should say two and three. Two comes from this line, three comes from this one. Now let's increase the value of the variable by adding five to it. Before we do that, let's talk about this equal sign for a minute. The equal sign we are using is called the assignment operator. It works a bit differently in programming than it does in math. In math, it's an assertion of fact. The left side is equal to the right side. But in programming, it's an action, something that is done. This is why it's called an operator. So this doesn't mean that the variable and the number three are equal to each other. It means make the variable equal to three. Because of that, we can do things that don't really make much sense in math, like the following line.
in math, this wouldn't make any sense. You'd try to solve for the variable and you'd get 0 equals 5. But in programming, it makes total sense. In programming, it means take the value of the variable, what it is, add 5 to it, and now make the variable have that value. So we should get 3 plus 5 equal to 8 for the value. Let's print it and see if that happens. Oh gosh, I keep forgetting to save. Okay, it worked. Great. Now you're ready to start using variables in your Java programs.